Thank you. Um, I have the great fortune of uh, starting off right after lunch. Um, I'm Prashant Ranganathan, and I'll wait for Bala to set up the screen. Um, I'm Prashant Ranganathan. I'm the founder CEO of Paysense. <coughs> Paysense is a Mumbai-based digital uh, fintech startup. We were founded in 2015, and we're just over 65 uh, in strength, uh, mostly in tech and data science. And in partnership with India Infoline, we've dispersed just over 110 crores in the last eight months. And the sanctioned amount is just over 1,100 crores. Um, the product we offer in the market is to consumers directly. Um, it's a product, um, it's a credit line product. It's a one-time onboarding through our mobile application, which we will demo to you today, and uh, with multiple drawdowns. So you can take multiple small ticket loans over the tenure of your life with a growing credit line, um, which, is, uh, which is powered by our con uh, continuous underwriting um, uh, philosophy. So the, sing the three tenets that power our application or our product are simplicity, clarity, and transparency. And this is what our consumers demand from us. They, the new millennial, the gen tech population is looking for an experience that's simple, that's clear, and extremely transparent. So, and our unique uh, value proposition in the market is speed. Um, the consumer that is borrowing from us is highly pressed for time. Um, they are looking for a cash loan that can disburse not within weeks, not within days, not within hours, but within minutes. In fact, they have just about five minutes between, um, between seeing their mother or father in the casualty ward and making it to the billing counter downstairs in Dilavati. And that is the use case that is prim primarily driving patients and its adoption. So the experience we're going to show you today is one that 550,000 of our customers have gone through over the last eight months. It starts from discovery, goes all the way to dispersal. I'm not talking about pre-approvals or approvals, I'm talking about dispersal into one's bank account and within five minutes. So uh, I have with me here Bala, who is our senior product manager who built the platform and, and the product. And so Bala <coughs> will actually be doing a live demo of his Android mobile device. Uh, and I'll be walking you through uh, the context that will show up on the, on the left side. So often, the simplest of consumer experiences are powered by a flurry of activity in the background. And uh, we wanted to kind of give you a quick sense of like what happens in the front, but also what happens in the back. Because I think what happens in the back often is more important because it enables something that is fundamentally different in the front. So um, that's where we're going to demo. So Bala, you ready? Oh, yeah. So, to dem so OK, it is just after lunch. So uh, how many of you know what this is? is a fidget spinner. So when we were conceiving this product, um, the business and the product team got together and we were having a chat and we said the consumer wants speed. We want a speedy experience. And so, um, so the product team turned around and said, well, how fast? Like, what is the speed that you're looking for? And someone in the back of the room said, well, if you can make it work before my fidget stops, that's pretty darn good. So the challenge is accepted. We've never done this live, so I'm, I'm hoping that this works. Bala's fairly confident. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to spin the fidget, and I'm hoping that Bala can get through the whole way through the application process and have the money disbursed in his account by the time this fidget spins. Yeah, it stops. So I'm going to give it a go. It's a regular fidget. It's not motorized or anything. It's nothing fancy. It's from Frankson's on Flipkart. All right, Bala, to go. So the very first thing we do is uh, once the app is installed, we ask for some basic permissions, which is like SMS, location, device history, et cetera, et cetera. As you can see that on the, on the screen. We, even as the user is onboarding, we're checking the trust factor associated with the device. We've got the contacts of the user, so we are actually building a, a network score on the user, which means we've gone out and seen in our own graph to see how many of his friends have actually onboarded with us and what is their performance on patients. And if we have their bureau history, then we're looking at, uh, looking at the bureau uh, information. I sound like one of those guys who's like in the racetrack. Um, um, so now uh, Bala has given us his PAN and other information. Now we can pull his credit bureau information as well. Only about 40% of our consumers actually have anything in the bureau, so most of our users don't. So at this point, uh, if he doesn't have anything in the bureau, we still have a rich set of information that we can underwrite him on the basis of. Now, the end of it, now you see that's his credit line. Bala is actually eligible for a loan up to two, two lakh rupees. And now he can go ahead and start a loan application. So uh, now he starts off and says he wants his money. Um, he's going to pick a loan that uh, makes sense for him. He wants 12 months, and that's his EMI payment in the US. That's the reason 
And um, mind you, we're continuously underwriting all the way through till he gets that loan. So he, we have to do his KYC. Um, so he captures the front and back of his Aadhaar card. Um, and what happens while he captures it is we not only OCR the card, but we run all sorts of machine learning algorithms to check the validity of that card. And we check with the government database to see if this is the card issued to this person. And that makes it a very robust way of checking if the document that he's providing for KYC is, in fact, an authentic document. So we've extracted some of the information from the government database. We have, um, we, and we go into the next step, where he's going to give us a sense for his employer. We can check against his network to see how many other people who have similar characteristics also work at Paysense, and that gives us a confidence score. If not, we verify his employment against the bureau, uh, or see that if, uh, if there were any SMS salary credits from this employer in his SMS that we've access to. So he has completed the loan application. Now the next step is for him to take a beautiful selfie of his. That's why I asked him to wear a suit, and I didn't, or a coat, and I didn't. That's his picture. Um, we run some facial uh, recognition algorithm here, nothing too fancy, just to make sure there's a face and not a shoe. Um, um, so that we, do, we do that, and in the back of it, uh, the very last thing we have to do is get him to uh, fill out the e-mandate, which is a match so that we can present to the bank and we can actually get the money back. And even this is digital, so what you'll see Bala do is sign on a blank piece of paper, and you will see the signature then embossed in his NASH, and we'll show him, that's his signature, oh my god. Um, so we got his signature, and then he can preview it, and then we'll show him where he's placing that signature. Now look, all these steps seem all cutesy and cool, but unless he is e-signing everything, his KYC document, his loan agreement, his NATCH agreement, there's always a uh, there's always a non-repudiation claim here, right? So I can always say, well, I didn't do this. So we actually go back to UIDAI and we get them to send an e-sign OTP. And you can see the application while we wait for UIDAI. This is the part I get very nervous about uh, in the demo. <laughs> well, the widget still with. We've got the OTP 710967 from Aadhaar. Come on, Mala. And now that's going to get verified and the documents are going to get signed. And we're done. And we still got a spin left. So, so, um, so why is this important, guys? So like I said, our consumer is a millennial most of the time. He's a 23-year-old, 25-year-old. This is his first loan. He, OK, no worries. Um, he or she is not looking for a paper process. He's looking for a digital process. He's looking for a transparent process, a mobile process. He's looking to be in control all the way through. He or she, I mean, is looking to be in control all the way through. So that's why this is really important. This is not the future. This is now. This is how 550,000 of our customers have onboarded. This is how we've disbursed just over 110 crores and sanctioned over 1,000 crores. Thank you very much. So we are in partnership with India Infoline. So uh, we actually participate in the loan origination and the whole process. So our, our, uh, our revenue model is just to take a percentage of that loan. So you're not a payment bank? Or? We're not. We're a fintech player. We're operating on behalf of India Infoline all the way through. Every step we're carrying out is a verification step, and ultimately the underwriting lies with them. Now, we can host some of those rules and we can process some of that, but this goes, uh, this, uh, all the stuff, actually when he hits submit and says your loan is good to go, it gets transmitted by an API which India Infoline has built for us, and uh, it gets booked in their LMS, and it's their credit officer who ultimately uh, will either automatically approve or will view, visualize, and then approve. How do you scale beyond India um, So the platform actually, so we have two components. One is Paysense, and one is Powered by Paysense. So Powered by Paysense actually powers Paysense, which means it's a core set of APIs. Everything from the visual that you just saw to the dispersal and the repayment, everything is completely componentized. So which means I can plug into an Aditya Birla or a bank. In fact, we are talking to several banks today to, uh, to be able to power components of what they want. Uh, banks struggle with new to credit or thin credit, and we are very rich. And that's, I think, where we've actually shown a lot of our muscle. Could you go back a step and talk to me about customer proposition? So I see hundreds of lending quits. Yeah. Why are you different? Um, well, I think, like I mentioned, I think lending in quick is kind of like the message, but I think most of them don't deliver. But I think India also has a little bit of a trust deficit in when it comes to lending and banking. 
But most of our consumers, in fact, 60% of our consumers come through referrals. So someone says, no, 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 it's not what they just said, but it's also what they did. So actually, that's what reinforces that USP. It's not what we print on the poster, but actually what their friends tell them that drives them. So that actually makes it stick. So it's a great USP, and I think if many of, many of our competitors share it, it's still great. I think, uh, but I'm not sure everyone's delivering on it, and we are. So in terms of why just millennials? So why are you just targeting a segment? Uh, we're not targeting a segment. They seem to self-attract. Uh, self, uh, self uh, I think the 38-year-old the is, uh, is financially stable, has been banked by a banker for many years. He's probably okay. He has enough offers coming his way, or she has enough offers coming her way, uh, rather than looking for that like, loan that, uh, that's the first go. But I think this is, I'm, not, I'm also targeting the millennial because I am building a relationship with them. Um, my, my repeat rate is over 68%. So which means once they take that first loan for 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, they come back for that one lakh. As that credit line keeps going up, I will go all the way to a home loan. I will never let them be anywhere else. Do you take credit risk? Uh, today we don't. We participate in revenue loss, uh, but the arrangement we have is uh, we don't, uh, and that would make us a NBFC. Yeah, that's a very, very good question. What I'm showing you here is probably the first pass experience, what they go through. But we always think about what's before the experience, what's what's before the loan, what's between loans, and what's after the loan. Um, with uh, with such a massive base of consumers that have onboarded, uh, we are definitely thinking about other ways to serve them. Now, mind you, I also know everything about their shopping patterns, not just theirs, but also around their network. I know everything about their investment patterns. That's another area where people are very, very confused. There's a lot of apprehension, very low comprehension. So I'm looking to kind of bring all that back. I think this is a fantastic conduit for a lot of the banking, traditional banking services to be delivered to a new consumer base. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, exactly. But it's all about establishing that trust, and that trust is established through that simplicity, clarity, and transparency. So we'll stand for that, and we'll build on that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prashant. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.